Hello, this is Thog Dad, and today we're talking about every Premier League club's biggest celebrity fan. Now, you've seen part one, you've heard the Michael Jackson joke. What have we got in store today? Well, first of all, we've got to talk about Man City, and I know you expect me to talk about Noel Gallagher and Liam Gallagher. I mean, they're my neighbours here in Hampstead. I mean, yesterday I saw Liam in Tesco in the fruit and veg aisle. He was buying his broccoli and his asparagus and his soy sauce. And I'm like, hey, hey, Liam, I said, I love your, I love your high flying beady eyes. And he's like, bog off, thog dad. And I'm like, no, come on, Liam, let's, let's go for a pint round the corner. He's like, jog on, thog dad. You know what the restraining order says? <sighs> not pleased. So I'm not going with Noel and Liam. Maybe I could go with Johnny Marr and Mike Joyce from the Smiths. I mean, they wrote, heaven knows I'm miserable now after watching a dull game between City and Wigan. Oh, I've got some great people to choose from. Ian Curtis from Joy Division, Mark E. Smith, Freddie Flintoff, Timothy Dalton, Alan Rickman, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Marco Pierre White and Princess Beatrice. Now, that would make one hell of a party, wouldn't it? But I've got to give a massive shout out to Badly Drawn Boy, otherwise known as Damon Goff. Now, Badly Drawn Boy has been a true fan of Man City for decades. And he's such a true fan that I don't feel I should do a joke about him. Although I do actually have a very good cheap joke lined up. Now, I think I need to call Theo and ask his opinion on this. Yeah, Theo, I'm doing that video and um, I don't know whether to use the badly drawn boy joke. Oh, it's, well, you know how he wears that beanie on his head? I mean, the, it's a visual joke. I mean, basically, I pick up a teapot and I say, Damon, can I have the tea cosy back because my brew's going cold? Shall I, shall I run it? I'm just worried I'll, I'll bump into him at, at the Etihad and he won't like it. What do you mean it's not funny? We're not doing the badly drawn boy joke. Now I've got a letter here from Red Issue Graham from Stretford. I'm not sure he's a City fan. And what he says is, we've got Curly Watts as a celebrity fan. We've got Curly Watts as a celebrity fan. We've got Curly Watts as a celebrity fan because City are a massive club. Thank you, Graham. And what a good choice that is. Curly Watts, otherwise known as Kevin Kennedy. Now, Kevin is a versatile and talented actor. He played Curly in Coronation Street, but he's also known for playing an angel in Mrs. Brown's Boys and received critical acclaim for his appearance in the Daz adverts on TV. All I can say is I hate it when D-list celebrities plug goods for the money. Manchester United now, can we pick Oli Murs? Now, Oli Murs sounds like a farmer from Norwich, doesn't he? Oi be Ollie Murs, I've got a combine harvester, I have. I'm planting my cucumbers, sir. And I'll tell you what, Ollie Murs lives in a five bedroom house in Essex. An ideal Man United fan then. But fairness to Ollie Murs, he used to play for Whitham Town. And a thog dad fact Whitham is nowhere near Stretford, it's in Essex. Or maybe we can go with Usain Bolt, the famous sprinter. Now we all know that Man United fans are quick. I've heard it from their wives and girlfriends. Or what about Rory McIlroy, the legend of golf? Rumour has it that when he got his first golf club, he slept with it. I mean, fancy waking up next to three foot of cold, hard steel. Guess you've never met my ex then. Or what about Justin Timberlake, star of the all new Mickey Mouse Club? This was a TV show about the David Moyes era. Justin famously sang the song, Sexy fullback? I mean, who writes these jokes? Now, I could have chosen Conor McGregor or Tyson Fury, but there's no way I'm doing jokes about those hard lads. But it has to be Angus Deaton from Have I Got News For You. And here's a great photo of Angus with a couple of YouTube legends. Angus played up front for us and led the line superbly. Newcastle now, and maybe I should go with Sting, otherwise known as Gordon Sumner from The Police. This is a man who's boasted that he can perform for over eight hours. Well, I'd like to see you watch 90 minutes of football at Newcastle this year, pal. He's a Newcastle lad who wrote the song Black and White Army. Or maybe I can go with Anton Deck, stars of Biker Grove and every other bloody show on TV these days. I mean, Deck once rang me up and says, Stog Dad, do you want to come to a Newcastle game? I said, I'd love to, Dex, so long as Ant's not driving. But it has to be True Geordie, doesn't it? I once met True Geordie at one of those YouTube Christmas parties, and I was a bit wasted, to be honest. I was doing tequila shots with Marina Joyce's mum. 
and I go over to him and I'm getting right in his face and I'm like, you're not a true Geordie. I bet you're Tarquin Patalainen from Torquay. I bet you support Yeovil Town. And he's like, I'm a true Geordie, man. I'm as Geordie as a canny bag of Tudor. I'm, I'm as Geordie as a bottle of Brunel. I'm as Geordie as a bag of grubs. So shut your mouth, dog dad. And I thought, well, that's not a bad accent, that pal. So I thought, well, I'm going in for the Scooby-Doo reveal. I still think he's a fake Geordie. And I yank his beard. I was so embarrassed it didn't come off, of course. And I'm trying to rub off his tattoos. I'm thinking he's a fake Geordie. But he wasn't. He is the true Geordie. And I tell you what, he's a good lad. We had a few pints afterwards and a bit of a laugh. And five minutes later, security kicked me out. Moving on to Norwich now. And someone has suggested Snoop Dogg. Well, yeah, here he is in a Norwich shirt. But here's other pictures of him in Barcelona, Man United and Galatasaray shirts. He's got more clubs than Rory McIlroy, that lad. Or what about Hugh Jackman from the X-Men who plays Wolverine? Now, I've never seen any of his movies. I thought X-Men was a porno. But it's actually about a butch Aussie with big claws in a figure-hugging black bodysuit. Nothing like a porno at all, then. But no, it has to be the brilliant, the wonderful Stephen Fry, the writer, the actor, the comedian, the legend of England. He's best known for Blackadder. This lad was born in Hampstead and brought up in Norfolk. He was a former director of Norwich City Football Club and is an honorary president of Proud Canaries. And I've got this wonderful mental image of Delia Smith and Stephen Fry in the boardroom at Norwich, eating cucumber sandwiches and scones. A legend of a man. Southampton now, when it's surely it's got to be Craig David. Now, Craig once played in Soccer Aid alongside Alan Shearer, Paolo Di Canio and Luis Figo. Now, I wonder how they got Paolo Di Canio to come along. I wonder, did they have to promise him a pair of new jack boots? Come on, Craig, follow Sting's example and write a song about Southampton. You know you want to. And if you don't, maybe Thogdad can write one. Signed Dear Ali on Monday, knocked out of the cup on Tuesday. We'll be getting relegated Wednesday, and on Thursday and Friday and Saturday we cried on Sunday. I think that could catch on. Signed Dear Ali on Monday, knocked out of the cup on Tuesday. We'll be getting relegated Wednesday, and on Thursday and Friday and Saturday we cried on Sunday. I'm quite pleased with Miss Alfred. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. I'm getting a phone call. Oh, it, yeah, it, it's Dan Perry, my lawyer. Who's called you? The Southampton Historical Society? Oh, not them. They're nutty geezers. What, what did they want? They're telling me never to go to Southampton again. Is, is that a bad thing? Sheffield United now, and it has to be the brilliant Sean Bean from Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. This is a man who dreamed of becoming a footballer. He was once voted the second most sexy living Yorkshireman. I'll tell you, there's only one good thing that comes out of Yorkshire. The road to Lancashire. Sean was once a director of Sheffield United and he's got a tattoo that says 100% Blade, a true fan. Tottenham Hotspur now and maybe JK Rowling. Now there's a bit of debate about who she supports because in the Harry Potter books the only football team mentioned is West Ham. All I can say is that if you're really a Tottenham Hotspur fan why don't you magic up some trophies for the club? Or Adele. The global music phenomenon is actually a local lass from Seven Sisters. Or oh, Wigan fans, stop getting excited. Seven Sisters is a place in London. Or maybe the brilliant Jude Law. Jude starred in Wild, Enemy at the Gate, Sherlock Holmes and the second Alfie. Or maybe we could choose Marky Mark Wahlberg, Alan Sugar or Michael McIntyre. But no, I've gone to the world of music and we've had some brilliant songwriters down through the years. Paul Simon Morrissey, Bob Dylan, Paul McCartney, Suzanne Vega, Christine Hirsch. But none of these come close to Chaz and Dave. I mean, Dave Peacock and Chaz Hodges are absolute legends of the genre. And just listen to these brilliant lyrics. Now you is just the kind of girl to break my heart in two. I knew right off when I first clapped my eyes on you. But how was I to know you'd bend my ear holes too with your incessant talking? You're becoming a pest. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. 
Rabbit, 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 rabbit. That is pure musical genius. It's like Shakespeare for the modern day. Watford now, and maybe we go with Jennifer Aniston from Friends. Now, she was famously presented with a Watford shirt by Chris Stork from BBC Radio 1. And look at this picture. It looks like she's been handed a dog turd. Now, Myla Kunis also promised to visit Vicarage Road. And all I can say about that is, shut up, Meg. But no, we've got to go with Reginald Dwight, otherwise known as the brilliant Elton John. This is a global legend of the music scene, a genuine and lifelong fan who twice owned the club. This is a man who's got more Oscars than Adolf Hitler's got balls. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? It, it's Den Perry, my lawyer. Well, yeah, yeah, the, the joke is that Elton John won two Oscars for his music and, well, yeah, Adolf Hitler, well, yeah, you know the song, the other one's in the Albert Hall. And if they don't understand it, they'll ask the dads. The joke's staying in. Bye-bye. Moving on to West Ham now, what about Russell Brand? Well, sadly, someone hacked Wikipedia and described Russell Brand as a comedian and an actor. He's neither of those. Now, you might know that I'm a vegetarian Bolton fan, and I'd rather eat a bacon sandwich in a Wigan shirt than listen to Russell Brand for five minutes. I'd rather munch on a steak and onion pie and sing Glory Glory Man United than go to one of Russell Brand's political rallies. Now a lot of people are saying Mia Khalifa, who's a pornographic actress who supports West Ham. Now I tell you something, I cannot condone her life choices. I mean, why couldn't you have supported Brentford or Tottenham Hotspur? I mean, the emblem of Tottenham Hotspur is a giant cockerel, isn't it? I mean, I guess she likes the West Ham chant, I'm forever blowing bubbles. Oh, I can't believe it. I've got another phone call. Hello, I'm trying to film here. It's Den Perry, my lawyer again. What do you mean? Nothing to do with Michael Jackson blowing bubbles. What, he had a chimpanzee? Yeah, but they won't know that. Can I let me get on with the video. See you, Dan. Or we could go with Kira Knightley, a lady who starred in Bloody Love Actually again. I mean, I'd respect her more if she'd starred in one of Mia Khalifa's pornos than in Love Actually. I mean, Love Actually, porno movie. One of them's badly acted and full of tits and moaning. The other's a blue movie. But you know what? We could have chosen John Cleese, Lennox Lewis, Billy Bragg, Alfred Hitchcock or President Obama. But no, we've got to have a shout out for Katy Perry. And on screen right now is a picture of Katy Perry that proves that she is a West Ham fan. And oh, I'm, I'm hearing that we're getting technical difficulties. I'm going to have to upload that picture of Katy Perry in her West Ham gear once again. And welcome back to everyone after that three minute break. So who's the daddy of West Ham fans? It's got to be Ray Winston. Ray was an actor in Scum, but ironically doesn't support Man United. The Sexy Beast star is everyone's favourite football hard man. He once said that Scotland's main exports are oil, whiskey, tartan and tramps. He's spoken frankly about supporting a hard Brexit. This is a man who makes me want to be a cockney gangster. If Ray Winston tells me to gamble, I'm gambling. And finally Wolverhampton Wanderers and it's got to be Mark Hamill. Now, Mark was Luke Skywalker and the Joker. But if he was a real Joker, he'd support Wigan Athletic, wouldn't he? And that's all for today. Please like and subscribe and do the usual. This is Thog Dad saying, see ya.